Hi, this is Light from Keys Digital Creations. In this DAS 3D tutorial, we will be learning how to create a skull cap for your DAS 3D characters. Before we jump right into this tutorial, I would love to say a big thank you to Javers Lewis for the DAS 101 tutorial series and Fami Badan for his DAS 3D tips and tricks videos. If you're a noob in DAS 3D, I would encourage you to check out DAS 101 by Javers Lewis and tutorials by Fami Badan, as well as other great content by very talented artists. All right, let's get right into it. Here we are in DAS Studio. To get started with creating our score cap, first, load up our DAS 3D character. I'm using the basic Genesis female character for this project but you can use any DAS 3D character of your choice. When it loads up, your character will appear on the viewport and the name of the figure will be on the same tab. To begin, you need to pull up the Geometry Editor tool. I already have this on my toolbar, but if you cannot find it on your toolbar, head over to the Tools tab, find Geometry Editor on the drop-down menu, or simply use a shortcut Alt Shift G or Option Shift G on the Mac. With the Geometry Editor tool selected and your character selected on the same tab, right click anywhere on the viewport and choose a selection mode. I'm using the Marquee Selection mode to make a rough selection of the basic shape for my skull cap and the drag selection mode to build up and fine tune the overall shape of my skull cap. This is where you can get really creative. Using the drag selection mode, you can create a skull cap of any shape that you can imagine for your DAS 3D characters. In this tutorial, we are creating a basic generic skull cap for our DAS 3D character. To further fine tune your selection, Hold Ctrl or Command on the Mac to add to your selection. And hold Alt or Option on the Mac while dragging to remove from your selection. After making out your score cap shape, double check the same tab to ensure that your character is selected. Then, still using the Geometry Editor tool, right click on the viewport and find Geometry Selection on the drop-down menu and click Invert. This will invert your selection. Next, right-click again on the viewport and find Geometry Editing and click Delete Selected Polygons. A warning will pop up. Click Yes. That studio will take some time to think about it and delete the selected polygons and when it's done wow here we go we have our skull cap looking good already if you're really paying attention to details you would notice that the left side of the mesh is pretty jagged and the edges of the mesh are too sharp pointy and too hard edged we would like a more organic smooth generic skull cap for our character to achieve this we will need to take our mesh to another 3D modeling or sculpting software. In this tutorial, I'm using Cinema 4D for this purpose. But if you're good with Blender or any other 3D software, you can use that. To get our mesh into Cinema 4D, we need to export it out of that studio as an OBJ. Export your mesh using the Dash Studio preset and hit Accept. Now in Cinema 4D, import your OBJ file. I use the default import settings in Cinema 4D. You can use that and hit OK. First, I delete all the textures and create a simple shader in Cinema 4D. Then, with a live selection tool and also making sure that the mesh is selected and you are on the polygon mode. Select the polygons you would like to smooth in and right click on the viewport and select your brush tool. 
you can also get to your brush too with the shortcut M C these are the settings I'm using for my brush with your brush too move softly along the edges you want to smooth in and in the direction you would like the shape or the curve to flow like you can see me do right now in this video then move to the next edge select the polygon and smoothing I found out that doing this one edge at a time works best then at the back of the skull cap, select the polygons you want to smooth in and with the brush tool, go ahead and smoothen it out until you are happy with it. My preferred workflow is to smooth in one half of the mesh and delete the other half. And then go ahead and just create a symmetric copy of the smoothing half to avoid repeating the whole process again on the other side this workflow also ensures for uniformity on both sides of the mesh but if you want something asymmetrical you can ignore this part and go right ahead and smoothing both sides of your mesh great we are all done here it's time to export our smoothing mesh out of cinema 4d as an obj file to do this go to file export use the cinema 4d default presets and hit ok back in that studio you can either delete the original mesh or simply hide it then import the new smoothing mesh from cinema 4d into that studio using the dash 3d preset and hit accept now our skull cap will jump right into position. To confirm this, load up your Dash 3D character again into the viewport. If you are concerned about your appearance, don't be, because the skull cap is in the same position as the head of the character. All you need to do now is simply scale up the mesh a tiny bit at a time to make the skull cap more visible on the character's head. I found that increment of 0.2 to 5 usually does it. All we need to do now is hide our Dash 3D character and export this skull cap out of Dash Studio as an OBJ using the Dash 3D preset. Then re-import the skull cap again back into Dash Studio and you'll find that your cap is sitting right in the appropriate position on the head of your Dash 3D character and the scale will be 100%. I have learned not to pair in the skull cap right away to the character's head as this might result in some issues. Rather, what you need to do is use the Dash 3D Transfer Utility tool. To demonstrate this, I will be loading up a Genesis 8 female character and a Genesis 8 female skull cap that I have created earlier using this same technique. The Transfer Utility tool can be located on the Edit tab. Go down to Object on the drop-down menu and click Transfer Utility. Then the Transfer Utility tab will pop up. For the source item, select your Dash 3D character. In my case, this is the Dash 3D Genesis 8 female character. And for the scene item or the target, select the Genesis 8 female skull cap or the skull cap for your Dash 3D character. Now, with the skull cap selected, right click on the scene pane Go down to Edit, Geometry, and click Convert to Sub-D. Now, you will have more options and you can change the mesh resolution as you desire. And we are done. I will at this point do a quick render using the Telus hair since we are not creating hair in this tutorial. 
and fast forward to the end so that you can see the end result. To build up on this tutorial, that is learn to create hair on your skull cap, check the link in the description below to the Dad Studio Strand Based Hair Tutorial by Fermi Baden to learn in details how to create hair on your skull cap in Dad Studio. Here is the end result and our character is looking like she's wearing a white scarf under her hair. From here, you can apply the same skin shader on your character's head on the skull cap and you're done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please like and share with friends and everyone. And don't forget to subscribe because this will help me to know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. If you have suggestions of a better way to do this, please comment in the description below. Thank you for watching.